not just we've not just thought, do you know what? Should we just go on a quick trip to the Arctic? We've done a lot of preparing for this trip. This trip's been in the pipeline for a lot of a lot of months. So we're just we're actually just shy of Bruges. So we were tempted today to go to Bruges. <laughs> Ollie, guys, one life. Live it. Hi guys, how's it going? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. So, the Ingham family. So, so much has happened. So much has happened. They have basically turned around and they have unveiled their brand new venture. They are taking a trip to the Arctic Circle. No, I'm not making this one up. They've got like a really little baby and they got they got like a four-year-old and they got three kind of kids, pre-teens, teenagers, whoever. Well, actually, one of the which is nearly an adult just bundled in a van the van pipes are freezing there's chaos they're already doing the clickbaity thumbnails with you know dad has a panic attack going up a thing which i'm not dismissing panic attacks i have them quite regularly but do you know what i mean like having these really out there uh thumbnails with sarah looking all shocked it's just so much is going on i could honestly do like a whole video just talking about all the extremely silly things that they have said and done and whatnot like there's this absolute priceless bit where sarah seems to not think that mammals are animals i don't know what was happening here there's one thing of particular interest, despite them being, I don't know how many miles away in their icicle van, doesn't, like, the Chris is literally sleeping on the floor, like, I don't know, I, I have got so many questions, anyway, 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 despite all of this happening, uh, they have actually managed to find the time to do a little interview with, uh, with newspapers, I'm just a bit like, hold on a minute, like, they actually did like an interview and obviously like gave in pictures and stuff and so we're gonna read some of that because as sarah said you know whatever her saying was like live one life only live laugh laugh <laughs> ollie guys one life live it they seemingly have found the time to actually like talk to newspapers about this and i'm so confused why they even would because if you honestly just type in like the ingham family every all of the stuff about chris comes up with the fact that he was trying to like groom teenage girls and stuff and i'm just a little bit like why would you want to involve yourself with any newspapers it's a bit suspicious anyway if you go on to like some of the newspaper articles like facebook pages or just on their websites in general some of these comments are absolutely seething they're like why would you give this family more publicity and it's not painting the inghams in a good light so i'm just completely confused as to why they would even do this in the very first place a part of me is thinking are they wanting some like extra cash they literally like sold their story to get more money i don't know why i'm doing this to myself but i've literally been talking to myself all night about the girls gifts that they got yesterday and i don't know why I'm, i just constantly i've just constantly been thinking should we have even filmed that like th it's really difficult when you daily vlog because you just vlog what you're doing every single day and so if some days we're not doing much and we're sat in the house and that's what gets vlogged and if some days we're out spending our money um then that's what gets filmed but i just i'm aware that this week has been an expensive week for us right unpopular opinion or not but i absolutely bored stiff of listening to them justify their spending habits so bored of it now we have spent a lot of money and so it makes me worry and when i say a lot of money, i mean like not just me going to b and and spending like 30 pound on rubbish for the house i mean like you know a lot we've had a lot to buy to prepare for this trip what i will say about this is i think that they are able to actually claim quite a lot of like tax back on the traveling and the trips they're doing if they're vlogging it you do hear quite a lot of you know travel influencers and all of that who are actually able as long as they're making content and it's for their business they can claim it back so who knows maybe they will be able to find a little sneaky way of claiming back some of the gear they've got i'm not a expert in this by any means but her at the end of the day right if you are filming yourself uh and you're filming your family do you know you've just got to just toughen up and they've been on youtube for so long imagine like the comments now on that vlog which don't bother me they should never bother you and they don't because it's just strangers opinions but and it's often people that leave comments that just wouldn't leave you a nice comment anyway but i don't know i'm just like i don't want it to come across the wrong way basically we weren't even planning on buying all of them one macbook broke a while ago and she's been needing hers fixing and we got that fixed and then it's broke again 
Sarah's basically going on to say that, you know, people had some negative things to say about the giving of the map books. I'll show you what the video thumbnail looked like. Chris had obviously made it, made it very hyped up and dramatized so that people would click on it. And it was the way it was titled. It was like, you know, getting brand new um, MacBooks and things. It was obviously meant in a flex kind of way, like, hey, look, we're spending money. So then you can't be upset when people then come back to you and they're like, hey, I didn't really appreciate that video because we're struggling right now. When they when they want to see more relatable down to earth content, if you see what I mean. Once again, and a load of the comments that are left on, on their videos aren't horrible bullying comments. They're just comments of a differing opinion and Sarah cannot handle it. She ends up going off on all of them. Anyway, I just thought I would obviously share this with you because I remember covering when they were, give, you know, the, the whole MacBook saga. I just wanted to, <laughs> for it to come full circle, but I'm still under the impression that they actually got it just to like prove to the learning people that they're actually like, hey, look, we have, we have, we have the appropriate devices so our kids could actually do some whole homeschooling purely speculation that but that's just what i think now before we get onto the newspaper article that i'm just going to read for you um i just want to give just my own thoughts and opinions on their latest venture going to the arctic circle now obviously looks beautiful i can't deny like the drone shots as much as i hate myself saying this the drone shots are making it look extra lovely all right I won't lie if I wasn't extremely concerned about the fact they're taking very little children in a tiny little converted like transit down and up and down all that stuff they're talking about pipes freezing it's like minus what like minus 16 I'm pretty sure they said it's crazy talk I mean quite honestly I would be lying if I didn't say that that doesn't worry me also right i hate to bring this up but the whole seat belt kerfuffle in the back how do we know that those kids i'm not starting anything i'm genuinely curious when they're driving along they don't really show what's going on in the back how do we know that those kids are actually strapped in and i don't wish to start anything but they literally show us everything and anything about any of their kids I just find it a very ultra strange setup. It doesn't seem like something you'd want to take really, really young kids on. And don't get me wrong, it's probably like the journey of a lifetime if you're slightly older. But I can't help but worry about the cold and just the fact that this is a trip. Like, they, it's all well and good when Sarah says, oh, if anything goes wrong, we can just turn back. But truth be told, like, they've been traveling for days and days and days to get back, they're going to have to drive back, yeah? If anything happens, you have got days of travelling. Like It's not as simple as just click your fingers and you're back home. I don't know. They, they can say all they want that they've been like planning and all of this, but a part of me does worry. A part of me does worry. And I can't work out, like, is this something that their kids want to do? It doesn't really seem like something, <laughs> something you'd want to do as a really little kid. A really little kid. Like, hey, I want to... I want to do this but it sounds like a dream to be able to do when you're a bit older but I just can't help but feel like is this is this what Sarah and Chris is this their dream or is this what all of them want to do that's just what I think and obviously I'll leave you guys to discuss as well um but this is just what I've been thinking as I've been watching their content because honestly it doesn't it doesn't help that wherever they go they can't seem to pronounce like anything <laughs> they can't seem to pronounce anything like bruges for instance Th this is what chris says we're actually just shy of bruges bruges okay so this newspaper is called the manchester evening news and it's basically it's a, two it's a twofold thing basically sarah and chris are talking about how people uh, are writing in and making you know people are saying horrible horrible things about their kids and basically pointing the finger at the gossip site tattle now uh by now i'm sure a lot of you guys know what tattle is and like the gossip bakery and all that basically sarah's pointing the finger at tattle and is pointing the finger you know saying that people are being internet bullies and all of that so i'll read it out to you i did find it so interesting how they uh, did they submit all of this did they give like an interview did they literally submit a story to get money like is this what's happened because this has just come out of the absolute blue 
So it's titled, We are used to getting abused for sharing our family's life on social media, but now the trolls are turning on our kids. They've called social services on our family multiple times. Having launched their YouTube channel around five years ago, Sarah and Chris Ingham are no strangers to the abuse that seems to go hand in hand of having an online presence. The husband and wife duo and, uh, duo and now their five children became internet sensations after they started vlogging about their life in the north of England. They became so popular that when they visited the Arndale in Manchester for a meet and greet a few years ago, over 4,000 fans turned up to catch a glimpse of them. I would just like to point out why would that not happen now? Like, why are they not popular now? Why do people talk about them now? I just, okay, right, I'm going to give, I'm going to give this article just a second, right? I'll just give it a minute. The abuse started on an online forum with gossip and pathetic comments about Sarah's weight and their choice to film their children. Sarah and Chris vowed never to go back to that website as they found it damaging for their mental health, but more recently their fans and friends have alerted them to another forum and the abuse isn't just aimed at them anymore, but at their children too. Now, <laughs> did, did, did the abuse start because of your weight, Sarah? Or did it start because of something your husband's been accused of because I don't think this is factually correct. In fact, when those allegations came out, you were a lot slimmer. And I'm not saying you're a massive human being because I don't care what other people look like, to be honest with you. I'm never going to talk about someone's weight. But what I'm saying, what I'm trying to say is that why were people picking on your weight then? That doesn't make any sense. Literally makes zero sense as to why people would say that. I think there were other reasonings. I don't think you're telling all the truth. Wait, the whole truth, all the truth, but what the truth, do you know what I mean? A previous Manchester Evening News investigation exposed how users on the internet forum Tattle Life, which was created with the intention to hold social media influencers to account, were using fake profiles to troll celebrities. The site includes thousands of threads about well-known social media stars such as Molly May and Sophie Mrs Hinch, as well as traditional celebs such as Stacey Solomon, Katie Price and Meghan Markle. Members of the site, which boast a rule about no moderation, are able to post streams of comments poking fun or making nasty comments about their lives. Dozens of threads about the Ingham family have been created on Tattle Life, including ones called Sarah the Chubby Chopper, Oh Come You Faithful, Creepy and Unstable, sorry, and Sarah and Creepy Ingham, YouTube's biggest scroungers. Uh okay. Well, the, the bit about the whole creepy thing. Did 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 the did, did the journalist go and have a little look, see at why why people are saying this kind of stuff? I'm not. Thing is, right? I don't want to get this twisted. I'm not demeaning and belittling the fact that some people can be outright rude and mean, and especially if it's towards children. Like, I'm not saying that's okay whatsoever. I'm just saying that there's obviously a background as to why. For instance, people call Chris creepy thing, you know, there might be a slight background. If you just delved a little deeper into this, you might realise it's a pretty valid reason. In a more sinister twist, multiple posts seen by the men now include references to the family's children, including derogatory comments about their parents and their behaviour. Yeah, and I do just want to say this right now, like if you're making comments about kids and like shame, like just please don't do that. But what I will say is that instead of writing to a newspaper crying about this, why don't you just take your kids off the internet so people can't make those harsh remarks? Because those kids are going to see that one day. Uh, do you know what I mean? I'm not saying, like, obviously you don't want people making those comments, but also don't offer your kids on a silver plate and then cry that people are being mean. You're putting them on social media. It's all well and good you putting yourself on social media. People, you're, you then crying because people are calling you chubby or whatever you're upset about you're doing the same to your kids i don't understand how you can't see the correlation you're like not you're obviously putting them on a silver uh do you see what i mean it's one thing to talk about me but when they talk about my children in such negative way i can't even have people telling me what they say sarah claims the online abuse has become so bad trolls have reported her and her husband to social services multiple times she claims one troll reported that her three-year-old son had been abusing her other child Fortunately, social services are aware of it all and can see that they are menacing calls, but it's still frustrating as they have to let us know each time. My husband doesn't even feel like he can kiss the children goodnight because he is branded as inappropriate. It is disgusting the things they say. I'm constantly told by friends and fans to stop justifying myself, but I feel like I have to. In other threads on the Tattle site, users have also attacked the children of other social media personalities. 
I will say, this might be a bit controversial, I will just say that if you're so worried about what people are saying, like calling your husband creepy and all of that, why on God's green, in God's green planet, God's green ocean, why are you bringing this up so that people will then go, okay, read this and then go look at other newspaper articles and be a bit like, well, hold on a minute, like, why are we even putting this back into the universe? Surely creating more tabloids more publicity around your name isn't good for people who don't know who you are because they're just going to look at previous newspaper articles and if they see what most of us see they're obviously going to like not feel so bad do you see what i mean one former Tattle Life member who frequently used to post about the family says he has stopped using the site altogether after the conversation became too toxic and frequently mentioned the couple's children. In the rules section of the website, one policy clearly states, unsavory comments about children are not allowed. Their parents may broadcast their children's image to make money, but as they are too young to have consented in this unregulated industry, we don't allow comments that may upset the children when older. And this is exactly it. This is exactly what I think as well. Um, I think, you know, in terms of not discussing children i do also think it's quite similar to reddit and the fact that sometimes you get people that just take it too far and start talking about the kids and this is exactly this is one of the conversations that people have an issue with is the fact that you have kids being exploited online so then i don't understand why those same people then start making horrible comments about the kids it doesn't make a lot of sense to me but yeah um i haven't like frequented their tassel life uh their, their thing i don't use tattle really that much like i've already explained i'd prefer using reddit um but even on reddit you'll have some people who you know take it one step too far I really like reading more than posting, but in total, I probably commented about 400 times. When I first started posting on Tattle, it was really just to make fun of the parents. The former member said he wanted to raise awareness of child exploitation and felt that Sarah and Chris were using their children to make money, something the couple vehemently deny. I love it, I love it when influencers like this try and deny the fact that they're using their kids to make money. It's like, but you are, you are a family channel, you vlog everything about your kids, of course you're using them to make money, of course. But over time, I started noticing what Tattle users were doing. They just started posting more and more about the kids and not in a nice way. There is definitely an element of hatred towards the children. I have seen comments where they say they hate the children. There is a difference between hating the children and understanding that they are a product of their parents. I can't read what it says because there is an annoying privacy box blocking my way. Apologies, but I have literally just skipped like a little segment because I'm not so much talking about Tattle and that. I want to talk about the relation between obviously that. It was just, a, it was whoever it was basically explaining their experience of Tattle. Okay, so whatever people see online is what our children are happy with, Sarah said. Our channel has been the same since day one and we don't change to keep up with all the latest trends. That's not entirely true. You were not van lifers at the very beginning. Uh, you were not. You were also much more like stay at home do this and that bearing in mind i didn't used to follow them at the very beginning but i had a little look back through the content just it's just a stark stark difference and many people who comment on my videos have said the same thing as well it's not our children's jobs to create content a lot of people have been saying where are your older daughters and they are not in it as much anymore because they don't want to be and that is fine they have total control and um, the thing that i find quite interesting here is that both their elder kids have actually revamped their their channels with their eldest kid doing like chats to people like sending video chats and voice chats or whatever like this is just such bollocks this is such bollocks they basically revamped old existing channels uh blatantly try and get some money and stuff like i i'm not buying this whatsoever sarah says that the abuse directed towards her family has become so bad that online trolls now even message her eldest daughter to tell her what bad parents she has we won't stop posting though this is our job and it's how we make a living and we aren't going to let these nasty trolls stop us from doing that but it does have an impact on your mental health we had to move from our home in leeds to north lincolnshire because people found out where we lived and would drive past and take photos of us the thing is, though, is that all of this hasn't just come out of nowhere. Like, people don't just start hating on people for no reason. There's usually, like, a catalyst. And we all know what the catalyst was. And now it's just little tiny bits which are just adding on to stuff, which people will latch hold of. Obviously, there's tons more controversial things they have done. Like, I am well aware of this. But the reason why I keep on bringing up, like, the particular Chris Ingham bit is that this is going to be amongst other newspapers like the back catalogue of what and who the inghams are 
Um, and you're then going to realise, oh, this is the reason why people were, like, driving past the house and taking pictures and stuff. At the end of the day, if you don't want people talking about you, get your kids off the internet. If you don't want people making horrible comments about your kids, get your kids off the internet. Protect your kids. Protect your protect your family. Do you know what I mean? It, it just doesn't make any sense. And once again, if you're one of those people making horrible comments about the kids, don't do that. Just don't do that because at the end of the day, Sarah and Chris have literally gone to to the to newspapers and are selling their story like this is so unbelievably silly if you don't want people still talking about about your past dramas and you want people to leave you alone maybe don't bring up the fact that you're being trolled like because then people are then gonna dig and wonder why why is this happening anyway just enjoy your trip with whatever you're doing i gosh knows anyway hope you guys have a wonderful day wherever you are in this world take care of each other take care of yourselves and i'll catch up with you guys in the next video